Hello and welcome to another vlog. I'm Kian, I am a first year med student and I am just trying to survive. So if you wanna watch that, then you've come to the right place. Good morning. Today is Wednesday and I need to do my CBL. So I'm back home, I'm just gonna work on lectures at home right now just because I feel like it's a little more efficient than being in lecture. Also, there was a massive tragedy. My milk frother broke. This is supposed to be attached, but the inside part that holds onto it is like broken, so I'm sad. But I have a solution. Step one, microwave your milk. Step two, pour your milk into a container. Step three, put on the lid and shake it, baby. Add the milk. Yay, frothiness. So it's been two and a half months and this is the first time I'm opening my anatomy atlas. Besides for that one time when I was like super excited because I just bought the atlas and I opened it. Hopefully this is not foreshadowing how the anatomy exam goes. It's honestly just really hard because the first midterm was all based on our lecture content. So our lab content, anatomy, histology, radiology, just kind of got pushed and forgotten about. So I'm sure I'm not the only one in this boat, but it's a bit of a pickle. So I'm going to quickly make some lunch and then it's back to lecture. So finish the anatomy lab, I'm going to go buy some groceries and a lot of comfort food because <laughs> our midterm marks come back today. So yeah, it is past fail, but like a small part of me, like my heart just wants to do really well. But my brain is like, how you do on this test does not define who you are or who you will be as a physician in the future. But like the rest of me means to take that to heart. Hello. So sitting on a park bench, it's 4.30 and we just received an email that our individual midterm marks are out. Okay, so I opened the exam and man, that thing is like so confusing. It's like opening the MCAT. It's got like all the weeks broken down and then it has like the average. Anyways, it was about what I was expecting. That's all I have to say about that. I'm going to go shopping now and quit wasting time. And I'm going to work really hard to, yeah, get into this final exam mode. I actually feel a lot less stressed. Um, I think I have a more realistic expectation of myself and a better idea of what I need to do in order to accomplish my goals. Muscles. So tonight I just worked on some anatomy review. I think I felt a little inspired after today's lab because, yeah, I felt I got a lot more out of the lab because I went in very prepared and really sort of knowing what I was looking for. And I think it really showed because our dissection went very well. We were able to identify everything and our TAs came over and were like, great job, this looks amazing, which is like very rare. Usually they're like, what the heck are you doing? And do you know what any of this is that you're looking at? So that was funny. But the most amazing part was that I got to touch a real kidney. Oh my gosh. They are seriously the nicest looking organ ever. It's just like, imagine an edamame bean, but like bigger, like big enough to just sit comfortably in the palm of your hand. It was so smooth. We didn't dissect it, we just like lifted up all the intestines and saw the kidney in the back and saw like the vessels, the blood vessels and the ureter. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know that at the very end of a vlog there's always a kidney that's waving and he's like, bye. And that is a cartoon version of this kidney because I just love the kidney. Mm. Yeah. 
so tonight I didn't study a ton, just kind of feeling tired, it's hump day, middle of the week, but I just drew out some anatomy structures. Yeah, anyways, these are the drawings I did. Apparently the best way to learn anatomy is to draw it because you understand not only where things are but how they fit together and what things lead to other things because really it's just a bunch of tubes, a bunch of piping that is connected. Hello, so today at Clinical Skills we're supposed to be learning how to do vitals as well as a head and neck exam and I have been reading the Bates Guide to Physical Exams <sighs> and it's just like so long and not that interesting to read. Physical exams are important but I think it's definitely something I would rather watch than read about so I'm gonna abandon the reading because I still have 50 pages to go um, and yeah, I can watch some videos instead. Optic cup to disc ratio is usually less than one to two. Adjusting the so one thing that we use is a tuning fork. And if you watched a previous vlog, I like tried listening to ASMR, which is really weird, but also super relaxing. And I thought like tuning fork ASMR would be kind of weird. Hello. So if you don't know what ASMR is, you probably think that that was like the weirdest thing ever. So look it up. I swear I'm not crazy. It's an actual thing. <laughs> if you do know what ASMR is, I hope you found that like entertaining or funny or maybe relaxing. So it's 1 p.m. and I'm still in my pajajays. <sighs> I think today's going to be a little bit of a write-off as far as getting work done goes. And I think I just need to be okay with that and just kill it tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think I overslept this morning. And then, you know when you get like a sleep hangover, when you like sleep too much and then you're just groggy for the rest of the day? I think that's what's going on. So yeah, I fell off the horse, but I'll get back on tomorrow. Anyways, I am going to make some lunch now and hopefully make enough for dinner because I'm going to try and stay out at the hospital after clinical skills and do some studying. I love smoked salmon. This stuff is so good. Last night I had mussels. I love seafood and I just watched a lecture on like infectious disease and public health and they're like, yeah, seafood is not, not the greatest. There's a lot of risks, but you know what? I like to live on the edge and I think it's totally worth it. So the other weekend I went to the site visit and they gave us this reflex hammer and this really like nice pen light. It's pretty solid. Alrighty, that's the outfit of choice. I got my over the shoulder bag. And we are heading to the hospital to learn some clinical skills. Um, I think we're doing vitals and I had a neck exam. So I'm back at the apartment, just had CBL this morning, it went really well, it was a lot of fun. And now I'm going to work on a lecture from home. Oh my gosh, it's like Kidney. Kidney, look, it's you. You're a star. Alrighty, so it is 2.30 and I have finished learning all of it. The Kidney. So I'm going to take a much needed brain break and I'm going to do the weekly chore of washing the floor. And after that, I'm going to treat myself, and I'm going to let myself lie in bed. And from my bed, I'm going to work on the histology lab. So I am heading out to choir. Uh, we have a performance tonight. It's called Coffee House. And I'm super excited, uh, one, to sing, but also to see all the other med school talent. Hello, today is Saturday and it is a beautiful day outside. Ooh, hello. 
Hello, blue sky. I spent the morning reading all about diarrhea. Boop, 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 beep. Good morning. Oh, it's Sunday, and I'm having a real hard time getting my booty out of bed. But I got work to do. Oh, no. I really slacked off yesterday. As in, I did literally nothing. Ay -ay. Eh. Kidney. Kidneys? Kidney bane? So this previous week, actually these previous few weeks, we've been learning about the GI and diarrhea and all that good stuff. And yeah, I think there's this thing where when you learn about conditions in med school, you're like, oh my gosh, I probably have that. This week, yeah, my digestive tract has not been enjoying anything that I've been eating. TMI, I just had quite the diarrhea. The diarrhea. So I don't know what that's all about. But it's just very, very amusing. Good morning, today is Monday. I have the day off because it's Remembrance Day in Canada. So it's my cousin's birthday and we're heading for a hike and then brunch. So I'm really looking forward to enjoying the sunny weather and yeah, leaving the books behind for a bit. So I am here, sitting on my bed. I got my fuzzy wool socks on. And I'm doing some casual nighttime reading on Depagliflozin and cardiovascular outcomes in type 2 diabetes. So I am reading this paper not out of force or obligation, but out of interest and because I want to. I don't think that's ever happened. I. I don't know what's happening to me. I don't read papers for fun. This is very, very weird. I'm off to family practice, Woo! Good evening. So I just have a word of encouragement for my fellow introverts out there. Let me tell you right now, I'm very introverted and I'm also not very aggressive or assertive socially yes so i'm sure there's a lot of people that want to go into medicine with a similar personality and there's nothing wrong with being a quiet person the reason why i want to bring this up is because i had a really interesting discussion with my family medicine preceptor he has to fill out a feedback section of like a form and he was talking about things I did well versus things I could improve on. I was saying that I'm not a very assertive person and I'm not sure if that's a problem. I'm not very like aggressive and gung-ho and trying to get in there. And he said, no, that's actually, it's really nice because a lot of times med students come in and they just are so arrogant. They think they know it all and they're just a little too overbearing in the situation and he said one of the nice things about your demeanor is that patients are really really comfortable speaking to you they want to tell you things so yeah he said don't ever change and i was like oh my god if you're still watching thank you so much um i just want to say the other week i found out this channel reached a thousand subscribers what that's so crazy to me i was not expecting like a single person to watch any of these videos but if you are subscribing now thank you so much for being here from the very beginning so thank you so much for validating these weird like videos that I upload every week please subscribe like and share this video and don't forget to spread the love the love of kidneys that is just kidding bye, bye.